Hi all, it's Catherine Burgess with Burgess Group Compass. We're talking about last week's Boulder County real estate numbers, the 30 day delinquency rate and national forbearance and how that relates to the Denver Metro market in general. So last week we saw 86 units of inventory come to market. That was lower both week over week and year over year. And yet uh, in 2018, we saw 71 units come to market in that same week. So we're still within the numbers of normal um, for inventory. Uh, the big difference is demand is so much higher than it was in previous years. Last week, we had 106 units come go under contract, and that was higher than uh, 2018, 2019, and 2020. The year to date, however, under contract is still lower than what we saw in 2020, but higher than what we saw in 2018 and 2019. So with regards to the price bands, we're seeing good activity there in all the price bands with a surge of activity in 2 million to 2.5 and 2.5 and above. So the high end really took off last week. A lot of people are wondering, as forbearance wraps up, what is going to happen with our inventory? Is the supply going to be overwhelmed with foreclosures? So this is a great question and let's look at the big macro picture, then let's look at the state and then let's look at the Denver metro area to have a feel for what is going to like what is likely to occur. So as we look at the big picture, you can see that in 2020, early 2020, uh, the 30 day delinquency rate was at an extreme low and we had a massive surge as a result of the pandemic. However, the foreclosure provisions since then and sorry, the forbearance provisions since then and rising home prices has made it so that many of the people who were delinquent are now recovered. So that is great news for us nationally. Then if we look on the state by state basis, um, we can see that the states with the highest level of delinquency rates are also the states with the highest level of unemployment, which totally correlates. Colorado is not at the top or the bottom of this list. Then if we hone in further and look at the 10 biggest metro areas in the United States, Denver comes in the second to the bottom with a very low expected 30-day uh, delinquency rate. So what we can extrapolate from that is that uh, when forbearance wraps up, the Denver metro area is highly unlikely to have a huge uh, surge in foreclosure inventory. And so simultaneously, CoreLogic has told us that 24% of people right now are considering a move in the next six months, where typically that number is more like 10% or 11%. So it is a huge number of people considering a move. So it's likely that we will continue to see a shortage of inventory, a surplus of buyers, and a market that is behaving somewhat similarly to it as how it is right now. Um, so sellers, keep in mind that it is a great time to sell. It's, it could be the best time in your lifetime um, to put your property on the market. Buyers, part of the reason that our demand has been so high recently is because mortgage rates have been at these historic lows. So we are seeing a ticking up. However, they are expected to keep going. So it is still from an interest rate perspective, it is, it is a very attractive time to take on a mortgage. So call us with questions. We're happy to be a resource and uh, we will see you again next week. Thank you.